Good morning guys. So we're vlogging again today. It is bright and early. I'm about to have some breakfast. I am getting over the last of my cold, hence the man voice I have going on. Today um, I am filming a lot of videos and what else do we have to do? That's about it. Say good morning little baby. Say good morning. Coffee in the morning. Sweet glory. Sweet glory. It's a lot later now. It's dinner time. I feel like I always vlog in the morning and at dinner. Look at how cute this baby is sitting up. Hi, baby. Are you the cute, cutest little chunky girl in the world? You barely fit in there. Should I get your play mat for you? Oh, so sweet. Looks like she's naked, but she's she has a diaper on, obviously. Yes, you love your taggy blanket the best, don't you? So I wanted to address something in this vlog that I get asked quite a bit and people are saying that I should do like a, a whole video on it but I just don't have enough to say on the subject to do an entire video on it but I always get the question how basically like breastfeeding with breast implants. Um, so if you guys are new to my channel and you have no idea what I'm talking about, I got a boob job last year before I had a baby. If you're really new to my channel, then you won't know this, but um, Annabelle was unplanned. She actually got pregnant right after I got the surgery done, like immediately after. I'm not gonna go into that topic, but. So yeah, she was unplanned, and I always get questions like how have my implants changed now that I'm breastfeeding? Um, would I have done it? Would I recommend get or would I recommend someone getting them done before kids? So I'm just gonna lay this out for you guys, plain and simple. I would not recommend you getting a breast augmentation surgery. What the heck was that? She just screeched, sorry, before breastfeeding. And I know this is like so annoying for me to talk about. It's like it annoys me the fact that I have to come on here and say this because I have learned so much this past year. Sorry, I need to see what she's doing. I have learned so much this past year about myself, about what's important in life, about motherhood. I feel like 2016 especially um, has completely like changed who I am and has shaped who I'm going to be for like the rest of my life. Um, having kids, I'm not gonna lie, like for, at least for me, changes you so much. When you have a baby, your perception on what matters like seriously changes so much. You do not care about, at least in my experience, I do not care about so much of the vanity stuff like I did before. Um, I have a whole video on like my breast augmentation cost, before and after not like showing you but I talk about the before and after I literally talk about everything I even vlogged like my recovery um, so if you want to check those out I'll link some of those videos below but if you watch those videos I literally have changed so much and I think a lot of my like OG subscribers will agree with me um, I went into getting the breast augmentation because I wanted a just like a fuller uh, cup size I just felt like my boobs they were a B size and then I went to a D so I just felt like I wanted more fullness and honestly looking back on it that is not enough of a reason to get surgery like that it is not worth the cost it is not worth the pain but even above all of that it is not worth the hassle when you're breastfeeding as you guys know my breastfeeding struggles in my opinion did not come from my surgery it came from Annabelle having a class 4 tongue and lip tie which is pretty much hindering all breastfeeding capabilities for the mom and baby to begin with and my breastfeeding experience was hindered also because I didn't find out about the tongue and the lip tie until she was three weeks or four weeks old I think or even older I can't remember um, so yeah my supplies seriously dropped because of that so I talked to a bunch of different lactation consultants and I talked to my pediatrician and we kind of determined that it wasn't because of my implants honestly I can't even feel my implants it's been a little over a year since I got them done and I can barely feel like I cannot feel any kind of implants I honestly rarely even notice that I have them unless someone reminds me I don't even think about it um, I can't remember like what my boobs were like before it's so weird but it's only been a year and these feel like my natural boobs um, I can also say that the reason I wouldn't recommend you getting them done is because you just really don't know how important breastfeeding is until you start to breastfeed it really is like one of the most 
like rewarding things I've ever gone through and I would not have sacrificed my breastfeeding relationship maybe not sacrificed is that's not the right word but I wouldn't have jeopardized my breastfeeding relationship just for vanity reasons that is seriously so stupid like looking back on it I don't know what I was thinking um, and yeah I didn't do it because Doug wanted me to do it I know I get comments like that he seriously does not care about a boob job he does not care about implants he's so not one of those guys I just wouldn't have jeopardized my whole breastfeeding relationship just because I wanted a bigger chest size like that's ridiculous so uh, I don't know I went through a lot of changes this year and I become like a whole new woman like a better woman because I had a baby so yeah definitely do not get your boobs done if you are even considering breastfeeding I don't think it has hindered my relationship with breastfeeding or my experience but I do know that for other women their supply has suffered because of their implants and that is mainly due to the fact that there is scar tissue around your milk ducts that can hinder the milk from coming out so yeah just keep that in mind um, and if you already have them done don't freak out just because I'm saying this there's still a really good chance that you can breastfeed with implants I can and I know a lot of other women that can too the other reason that I wouldn't recommend you guys getting implants or a breast surgery before you have your first baby is because you're probably I don't know if you're prone to surgery before you have a baby you're probably gonna want a breast lift after you have all your kids because I'm not gonna lie breastfeeding like seriously wrecks your boobs I don't know a woman who has breastfed who has like the best perkiest fullest boobs I've never heard of that in my life every woman that I've talked to who has breastfed in my family and amongst my friends and just other mothers that I know they just tell me all the same thing that breastfeeding wrecks your boobs and they makes them saggy and makes them lose a lot of breast tissue um, I've already experienced the slight sagging of my boobs and not so much the breast tissue because obviously I have implants but my boobs are not as perky and I've only been breastfeeding for four months so I cannot imagine what they're gonna look like after I have two kids it's gonna be crazy so I'll probably want to lift and I'll honestly probably want to remove my implants not sure haven't thought about that this is gonna be like years from now got to pick up the baby but yeah so that is another thing to keep in mind but if you have any questions leave them in the comment box below and I will answer you guys you guys are always asking to see how I make things and this is definitely not a recipe I just basically put everything I have in the fridge that makes sense on a taco on some tortillas so I just have little flour taco tortillas um, I usually don't like the flour ones like I only eat flour for burrito but Doug requested these so yeah um, basically I just have sour cream salsa steak and then I also fried some bell pepper and onion and put that on there and then after that I just put cherry tomatoes and some avocado then I just top everything off with lettuce and cheese and these are like mini burritos but they look pretty good the baby's making on her playmat holding her toy which is a new thing she's been like grabbing for things oh are you sick of that already time to move on to the next so we're just waiting for Doug to get home and Annabelle seriously tries to stand or she like tries to yes I'm wearing PJ bottoms that are Christmas lights by the way um, she tries to like kick her feet off anything and it's almost like she's trying to stand hi little chunky baby look who's home hey. what's up have we noticed anything different there's a naked baby oh gonna say she has no clothes on <laughs> hi Annabelle you having a good time with mommy you just hanging out yeah look at that smile oh it went from smile to inquisitiveness uh, what <laughs> Doug everybody says that 13 reasons why gets really good and everything makes sense well, at the end watch it, then. I know we will it's hard when you have a baby but they say I know well we did watch it last night mm -hmm. but they did say that um like you really like you feel bad for her in the beginning and but you don't really like know why she's blaming all these people mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you understand got it so now it just motivates us to watch it all right well then let's finish it tonight all right so annabelle fell asleep on the bobby she was really tired and that means we're not going on a walk someone said that they love me even more because i like butter pecan <laughs> what do you have to say about the ice cream douglas Okay, nobody needs to see <laughs> making love to your ice cream. Look at Annabelle hanging out with Totoro. Oh, now she's over it. Now she doesn't like Totoro anymore. So I come in to it's Doug's. Like a golden snitch. Look at it. <laughs> Doug's like, what is this? And I'm like, it's a 
bunny head from Pottery Barn. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mouse head or a bunny head, whatever it is, Annabelle likes it. Looks it looks like a wing bat thing. Yeah, she loves it. It like stimulates her. <laughs> looks like there's a tsunami coming, Doug. No, it doesn't. Does it not? Like, look at that. No, it doesn't. Look at that line. It just looks like there's clouds coming in. Tsunami time. I wish I could show you guys what that looks like. My biggest fear is a tsunami. Because we get wrecked. Hey, look, I can put you guys on the shelf. Ah. Oh. Can you just, it. can you just not? Show them what you did, but don't hit me in the face with it. Oh, this is... <laughs> a lot of you guys ask what bra I wear for like strapless shirts. Don't take my advice. I wear a bandeau and it's not flattering. So Practicing my puppet skills for Annabelle. How come your head gets cut off? No, this is what you gotta do. <laughs> if you really want to see what goats do, it's more like this. Look, they go. Now they can't see. Oh, what the? Fuck? <laughs> no, come back. What? They come. This is what goats. I'll, I'll be gentle. This is what goats do. They're like. <laughs> they, yeah, like a back backflip off of the rock or whatever. This is actually my goat. Its yeah. name is Snowball. Okay, so let's fun... not get too wild right now. What? Fun Tell fact, everyone about Snowball. Fun fact about this goat. My sorority found out that I like had goats growing up. Goats and sheep and a pig. Sheep and a pig. Oh. And they thought it was like the funniest, weirdest thing ever. So my roommates hid this goat all over our apartment. That's stupid goat. I'm pretty sure one, one time it was in the freezer. Yeah. <laughs> one day she's going to be able to sit up. Actually, you probably won't even look at her by then. <laughs> Somebody said they literally fast forward. To Annabelle parts? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, rude. <laughs> well, I mean, how can you disagree with this little face? Look at this. Look at that face. Oh. oh. Okay, so we're gonna do comment of the day before I fall asleep and forget. And before Annabelle gets cray cray. But anyways, this one is from Sasha Girl one zero one three. She said, "Was it love at first sight with you and Doug? Y'all are so darn cute, and we all know what a gorgeous baby y'all make." It sounds like you're from the South. Thanks for letting us know. When we I feel like we might have answered this, but no. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. Doug. It was for me. You're just saying that. Depends on if you want me to tell the real story. You've already told the real story on my channel. Have I? Yeah. Oh. Tell a really shortened version. Um, so Haley was a year, joined uh, Greek Life a year after me. And then there's always a picture of all of the new girls that join each sorority, or at least for Haley's. And I was going through them with one of her sorority sisters and a couple of my friends. And I saw Haley and I picked her. Okay, but that wasn't love at first sight. And I said dibs. I was blonde in that picture, by the way, so what does that say? <laughs> I, call, I called dibs. And now he that did. <laughs> we have a baby. <laughs> okay, that was like six, five years ago. But I wouldn't say it's love at first sight, okay? The only thing that's at first sight is lust, let's be honest. But I do have to say that there was some kind of like weird like connection at first sight, like without talking. I was like, I'm going to have her baby. <laughs> Ew, what a freak. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean you're going to have my baby? <laughs> I'm a, I'm a make her a baby. <laughs> okay. This is from Asher S. Haley, I bought my first robe this weekend because of you, LOL. Oh, yeah, robe life. Robe You're life. never going to go back. I've converted all like seven of my friends to the robe life. You just don't need to wear clothes. Oh. You don't need to put on pants. You just oh. put on a robe. What, Doug? Yes, robe life. Whatever. Comment below if you know what I'm talking about. Oh. Oh. All right, last comment. This is from Kangaroo Mommy. She says, I know you guys don't love the idea of moving to Plano, but North Dallas, Fort Worth is great for families. You could rent slash buy a house and pay for landscaping for less than your current rent. Yeah, we know. Way less than our current rent. Yeah, definitely. You guys would never believe the rent in our area if you're not from the area. If you're from it, you know exactly what we're talking about. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I was talking today about how I like fantasize about moving, but we don't think we could leave our friends or family. Yeah, it'd be kind of tough. But we're still thinking about it. But Maybe when one we day. look at, like, people here don't even talk about acreage. We just talk about square footage. Yeah, and literally. In other areas I didn't think of the about country, that. 
they're like, oh, it's on, you know, half an acre, one and a half acres. Out here, it's like, oh yeah, that's, you know, 1,100 square feet, 1,200 square feet. And it's ridiculous because we are like 25 and we live amongst like millionaires, but we can never afford <coughs> the lifestyle that they have. No, let's... Like, I feel like... Yeah. What? We don't live amongst millionaires. We the house is around us. We just happen to live near some, like near all of these millionaires. I mean, they're not living in our like no. apartment complex. No. What I was trying to say is <laughs> in our area, like in our city, oh, like yeah. right across the street. I There's like, you know, God, so many people with my money. My parents came into town and they were like, oh look, a Tesla. And I was a like, Tesla, okay. A Tesla, a Tesla. I know. <laughs> but yeah, they're so like, it's We've never annoying. seen one of those before. It's annoying. We actually almost moved to Texas Tesla just this past by. year. Oh yeah. But we did it because we just didn't work out. Mm -hmm. And you guys, I cannot leave the beach. I know. Like it's like my soul is in the in the water. Not Del cannot say the same for no, himself. I can't. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. If you liked it, then give it a thumbs up. Annabelle's getting cray. Oh no, she's it's about putting, that time. She's giving a thumbs up. Look. Oh, a tiny thumb. <laughs> oh, like if you like. Okay, Doug. <laughs> That's my favorite saying. If I were to have a shirt. I don't do that anymore, listen, Doug. Listen, people are like, you need to put huh, Doug on a shirt or huh, baby on a shirt. No, I want a shirt that says like if you like. <laughs> then it, then it's just like, a thumbs up. That's all I want. Anyways, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Yeah. And we will see you in our next vlog. Bye, guys.